Hello, my name is Jetro Rafael and I am the Cuckoo resident of Van Gogh is Bipolar. Van Gogh is Bipolar represents life itself. Life has two sides, light, representing the body through science, and shadow, representing the soul through art. So, Van Gogh is Bipolar is an experience. This is so magical. Whoa! You get to experience the different creative expressions of unconditional love in the form of food, in the form of space. Right now, as of the moment, there are two wings of Van Gogh's Bipolar. Van Gogh's Bipolar Shadow, where it's the art part. And then there's Van Gogh's Bipolar Light, where it's the science part. I remember a friend of mine asked, so what do you call your space? And at first I said, Jetro Snook. And then he said, oh, so boring. And then I said, Jetro is bipolar. And then he said, do you really want to know that the world that you're crazy? And I just blurted it out, Van Gogh is bipolar. Hello. Oh, hi. hi. Hello. Francesca. Hello, welcome to Van Gogh is bipolar. Thank you. My name is Jetro. We have a, a map here. So okay. it takes us to different nooks and crannies of Van Gogh's Bipolar. Okay. So this is where I live for the past 10 years. My wow. room is over there. <laughs> How convenient. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the, to the dining room. Yes, you may wear hats and crowns and tiaras. Oh, nice. Or maybe this red one. Okay, let's put this on. Okay. I have a very interesting nook here. I call it the Dark Curse Healing Room where you are okay. oh, <laughs> where you are encouraged to express your inner demons and oh no <laughs> and even your dark secrets and it's scientifically proven that it helps you relieve yourself from stress and all these pent up negativities inside us so you may go ahead okay let's our do this. lady <laughs> wow and you can almost feel like the secrets of all of the people here. I'll let you stay by yourself, so I'll close the door. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and then just, I can write just, my just secret. Just to give you that moment. Okay. You're not gonna look at it, right? <sighs> Done. So. How, how is your being? Um, well, that's a good start for the tour, I would say. <laughs> it's very therapeutic, but also it's, it's scary in a way, you know, just trying to acknowledge your fears and stresses. Yes, yes, But yes, I yes. guess it's a good start. Yes, yes, yes. Because in Van Gogh, we are encouraged to embrace our flaws and celebrate even our imperfections. Then we have the opposite. This is the love red wall. Wow. So you may This arrive. room I like. The love red wall reflects the expression of the soul. It's where lovers meet, where friends write words to keep, take a step up to leave a kiss mark. We'll surely see it even in the dark. Here's the pen. It's time to write the person that I love most. Or your name, because... I love myself. You love yourself. I like that. Let's do it. <laughs> right next to Jared. Sorry, Jared. I'm going to write over your heart. So in Van Gogh's Bipolar, for the experiential dining, there's no menu, by the way, you get to fill up this sheet where you are asked if you want to experience being happy. And also if I have any allergies and or allergies anything like that. Allergies or special requests like it's your birthday mm -hmm. or you're mending with a broken heart. Oh, that's so. specific, huh? <laughs> okay, and then, but aside from that, it's all gonna be a surprise. Yes, and then there's a special window okay. where guests may hand over the order slip mm -hmm. to the chef mm -hmm. and oh, okay. I'll show you where. All right. Loudly. Hi. Hello. Hello. This is my 
order. Thank you. All right, thanks. Okay. So my order is done. And while waiting for your food, maybe you want to cross over to the light. Oh, I like that. Let's do it. So disgusting. So the story of Van Gogh's Bipolar happened 10 years ago when I was at the crossroads of my life. I was kind of lost and I don't know where to go. I was jobless. I was on the verge of committing suicide. Uh, it's kind of dramatic, uh, but it almost happened. I was clinically diagnosed bipolar. I remember I had chronic depression and especially chronic anxiety. I couldn't even get out from my room because I was in constant like panic attack. So I have to be in my medication like all the time. And I made that decision to heal myself the natural way. And so I created uh, my own natural homeopathy. Uh, I call it the cuckoo diet, uh, just to humor it. So when I started creating this for my own needs, then my friends and friends and friends of friends started visiting my home. And so they were curious about the mood healing nutrition that I was serving. So it became an accidental restaurant. Okay, so the first ritual is the all-natural alkalizing hand wash. What you need to do is put your hands above the bowl like this. And I'm going to put sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. So this hand wash balances the pH level of your skin. So it makes it alkaline and makes it softer. And to activate it is apple cider vinegar. Then you can go ahead and rub it together, yeah. So my jewelry won't turn black. No. <laughs> Be shiny. <laughs> okay. Now my hands are neutralized. Is that what it's called? So for today, your soup, we call this Virginia Wolf Steers, which is a my, uh, wild mushroom base. Soup with veggies, quail eggs, and some basil leaves. I'm gonna try to get every single piece. Oh my gosh. It's so savory for just mushroom. Can I finish this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for your appetizer, we call this Axel Rose Egg Shot. Okay. So the egg yolk is a natural stress buster, especially when eaten raw. Raw? Yes. And then this is our secret oh, sauce. And I'm just going to put it there. And I'm going to season it with some pink Himalayan salt. Just a bit. Spice it up with some cayenne pepper. So anything spicy lowers our cortisol levels or our stress levels as well. All right. Because it transfers to the stress you get with all the spiciness <laughs> in your face. I'm just kidding. And to sweeten it up, we have some raw honey, which is a natural tranquilizer and also an antibacterial. So we added some sugar, we added some spice. Now for our everything nice. Some All Jaeger right, Meister. now we're talking, <laughs> yeah. I like that. So we usually add herbal liquor to this shot. So for today, we have some Jaeger. Jaeger is herbal? Yes. I did not <laughs> So before you take this shot in one go, we have a tradition here where you will say cheers in another language. Okay. So for today, Let's say, um, Ugiwawa. Ugiwawa. <laughs> so that, that is Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Here goes nothing. Ugiwawa. <coughs> wow. <coughs> I'm good. Next, please. This is probably the prettiest dish. So we call this Larry Flynn's cabbage salad. 
So you're just going to peel off the cabbage okay. and then put everything, everything. maybe maybe everything, okay. depends on your preference, um, inside the leaves. It's like making your vegetable burrito. Okay, here is my very own customized vegetable burrito. That was very fresh. A lot of the stuff here, especially the flowers, were literally just picked from outside. Like they have an herb garden right outside. And I also really like the walnuts. So, cheers. Next up is Andre, or the main course. Uh, it's a happy dish, so it's supposed to make you feel happy. Uh, we serve black mountain rice. Black mountain rice that is the healthiest of all variants of rice. That is 100% um, fiber, so guilt free. It's supposed to make you feel happy, it's antidepressant and also antioxidant. Bon appetit! Thank you. So, some tanige, black rice, and some of this black sauce with mangoes, if I'm not mistaken. I love that. On to the next one. And for dessert, uh, we will be moving to the shadow part of Van Gogh's Report. Come on. Okay. I think I'm gonna take my drink. All right, you can leave your shoes there because we're still gonna okay. be very fun inside. That's fine. Last part of the whole experience. This is called Mel Gibson's Darkest Sin. Vincent Van Gogh's favorite thing. Do you have any idea what that is? No, it's that. It starts with a letter A. Absolute vodka. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's the world's strongest liquor. Absinthe? Yes, it's absinthe or absinthe in French. Is this it is... legal? Yes, yes. Okay, cool. This one is legal. According to historians, Vincent van Gogh was drinking this one when he painted the Starry Starry Night and when he cut his ear. He wanted a part of him to be a part of the girl that he likes, so he gave his ear as a gift of courtship to the girl next door. However, he got rejected by the girl. Um, absinthe or absinthe, this is made from wormwood. Wormwood is actually medicinal by nature. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna light the absinthe up. Okay. Go! Oh, whoa! This is so magical! Whoa! Whoa! We're gonna take this one as a shot and then chase it with a dark chocolate afterwards. Oh my gosh! It comes afterwards? Wow, that's spicy. And here's my spoonful of sugar. This is good, girl. So they just told me that most of the time, the people who take this shot can barely talk afterwards. So, got it down. What's up? That was easy. So you kind of feel the heat, like, traveling down from your throat all the way to your stomach. And then when you take the spoonful of dark chocolate, it's like an embrace, you know, like, so my final thoughts, um, I came here uh, expecting the meal that I had. Yes, the taste really uh, met my expectations, but Van Gogh's Bipolar is way more than that. It's really the ambiance, the interaction you have with the people here. I think the people here play a very big role in the whole experience that you get when you go to this place. It's the perfect combination of sugar, spice, and everything nice. I love everything about this place, but if there's one thing that I really like, I think it's the love letters. So there's this box where you get like love notes from strangers, and the one I got was congratulating me for being where I am and for overcoming all the circumstances that I've overcome in the past. And although this person who wrote this had no idea what I went through, I really feel like it was a sincere congratulations. Reading that before going out of this place or before leaving this place, I think it's really the cherry on top of the whole experience.